All right, people, we made it. Round seven, black sky, Ryan drove. We had to unhook to get level. You guys probably are not used to seeing this. We got the practice girl here for some fresh graphics. Huge thanks to Spider Graphics. She's looking pretty good. Not bad. It's fresh brand new tires, GBCs, of course. She'll get the job done. She's ready to rock and roll. Ryan's Honda right there. Yamaha generator right there. So we're all set up. It's about almost eight o'clock. Actually, uh, this round is the shortest drive for us at four and a half hours, which is pretty awesome. And uh, it's kind of hot. We got the AC cranking. Probably gonna cook some food. It is Friday. We're here early. They open the gates on Friday, which is awesome. And uh, we'll bring you guys the usual action tomorrow. We're gonna bike the track. We got the high bike ready to rock and roll. Check things out. See everybody, and uh, let you guys check out some of the course. And uh, we'll bring you the usual shenanigans. Some race action. A little bit of race action. And then uh, that's pretty much it. You guys know the deal. Ryan's over there. Say hi, Ryan. Hi. We're ready. We're gonna probably. Eat something, have a few adult beverages, and uh, just chill. One bad thing, guys, is I have poison ivy so bad. I cut a tree down. It may be hard to see, but my legs are covered in it. We got lots of different medicine. We got that. We got that. And we got that. I cut a tree down yesterday, and I guess I was walking in all poison ivy, and I'm bad. I'm, I got it on my arms. You can see the calamine lotion right there. I'm covered in it. So I'm trying like hell not to itch it and make it worse, but it's going to be tough. So I'm just going to be spraying this crap all over me the whole night, all day tomorrow, and just try to manage it because this stuff is bad. I get it really bad. So that's the only bad thing. It's going to be hot tomorrow. It's going to cool down tonight and tomorrow, 60s, which is good. Race day, I think, is going to be in the high 70s, which should be good. We're here, no dust, guys. So I guess they got some rain earlier in the week. The field looks fine. It was actually a little slippery coming in. Ryan had to put it in the old four-wheel drive. It's a Chevy. So, you know, she's just doing the best she can. But uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. It's Saturday. We just had a good breakfast. Hanging outside. It's actually pretty nice out. It's not too hot yet. Kind of cool. Going to get the old high bike ready to go. Ride the track. Check things out. We're hearing uh, good things. Had the... Uh, couple people say some things about it some good field sections a lot of stuff we're gonna go check it out so uh, how about some drone shots now <laughs> Mile marker two, Bobby J Rock Garden, photo opportunity right here. This is a cool section, guys. We ran this, if you guys ran the GNC co-sanctioned race last year at Wainoa, we raced this track. Basically the start was in that field over there, and this is where we came through. We actually only hit this once. We did come back into this, but it was kind of up there more because the track kind of came around that field section, then it came back in up there a little bit more, but uh, this is a cool section. It's not even that bad. It's all flat rocks. You can kind of hammer through this. You guys can see we do have some mud here and there. It's not bad, but the high bike is picking it up as always, but uh, I'm going easy, walking through all the sections that are muddy. It's getting hot now. You can see I'm starting to sweat. Uh, we're gonna keep going and uh, check out the rest of this place. All right, guys, we just finished the track. Um, you can see the bike, not too, too bad. The last, like, probably 
four, the last you know, probably six miles was fine. So this is pretty much just from the beginning. They don't have the finish line marked out yet, but that's where it's going to be right there. So I'm guessing we come out of the woods here, we run up this way, and we go through and around, and then we go back and connect to the track where the start was. So I'll show you guys the track map, and it may be tough to see. You guys can see that. So the track map, I'm only showing eight and a half miles, guys, on the on the app. So they, they got it as 10, but... uh. We did not bike the extreme section. It's kind of hard to bike. So that may add, I mean, that, that could add a half a mile maybe, but only the bikes are doing that. The quads are rolling through the big, just the straight main section, straight through to the woods. And the bikes are gonna do the whole thing. So that's kind of cool. But I'll show you, see my info. So I got eight and a half miles. Um, that's, what the, that's what the app said on the bike. So like I said, but I didn't bike that section with the enduro track so that like that could be another half mile so let's just say nine miles solid nine miles which is good a couple miles longer than the previous tracks something it's still going to be a four lap race it's going to look it's looking fast the majority of it so it's going to be great for passing don't think there should be any bottlenecks the mud's fine it's looking good and like i said before this could be in the running for track of the year that's how good it is uh, you can tell that the crew here at black sky robin and everybody's got working with them did an awesome job you can tell they put a lot of work into this place and uh i think we're gonna have a good day so uh get back to the camper get cleaned up and uh i guess we'll just uh show you guys if anything else cool happens later on we're getting ready for a saturday night dinner people let me guess well you guys should guess what are we eating it's gonna be tough you know we always do the same exact thing we got ribs we got some steak tips same thing we got zach right there what are you eating for dinner zach i don't know I'm zach doesn't know yet. no what are your options we got some hot dogs hot dogs chicken, that sounds broccoli. great <laughs> <laughs> we got steak zach Sized. steak and ribs good. steak and ribs man we need those calories we're gonna race tomorrow the track's looking mint guys Saturday night dinner people you guys know what's up. We got the same old stuff. We got steak tips We got some ribs. We got some What is that? Macaroni, Macaroni and cheese. Sorry guys. I had a few beers, but I'm good. All right, we got potatoes All right, we're gonna chow down and get ready for race day Have you seen the video of the guy at Barstool yet that just posted that was that Sonic and then Carson. We are out here, people. Race number one on your way. It's race day. Mini bikes on the track. minutes before these guys get rolling.
It's almost go time for the big quads. We got Mike, Mike, Mike. He's over there hey. picking his nose. Zach's way behind. He's late. He's not even ready yet. We got Muffin Man. He's on the Can Am. Chris Butler. You guys remember Chris Butler? You got freaking Ryan behind me I'm trying to push me out the way. It's almost go time, people. We'll see you after the race. What's up, guys? We're driving home. Freaking killer day. Ryan, how was your day? It was alright. Six out of 15. Six out of 15. Started last. Good day, last on the start. Track was a lot of fun, right? Yeah. A lot of cool features, a lot of little jumps, a lot of fast stuff, a lot of hills. I had it all, guys. Right around eight and a half miles, I think it was. I think it was a little short. They did cut out a couple sections. You'll see before, you know, in this video, the bikes on that hill, they cut that out along with the section leading up to that. So we probably lost maybe a quarter to a half a mile, but, uh, Huge shout out to friggin Robin and his whole Black Sky crew. They did an amazing job and I would bet this track is going to be in the running for track of the year. That's how good it was. As for my race, we didn't get the whole shot again guys. The start, they watered it. I had a good start. The bike fired right up but when I let that clutch out man, I was just spinning and I wasn't going anywhere. My buddy Gary, he got the whole shot so congrats to him. He led the race for a little bit. I was third into the woods and then made a couple passes past Mark Potter who was out there since uh, he hasn't rode since last year so it was fun to see him past him and then we caught Gary put a move on Gary and then I freaking hit a tree right after it so he passed me back so I had to work up to him again made another pass that time it stuck um, but it was fun we had a good day I was 17th overall we got the win so I can't complain and uh, that's pretty much it guys so leave a comment if you got any questions or anything and uh, we'll see you in a week.